We've got these remote controls that have some corrosion on them and I'm trying to get them working again. So the tools you're gonna need are going to be a Q-tip, uh, a flathead screwdriver, some white vinegar, as well as some isopropyl alcohol. And uh, we'll get started. So basically I've already taken off the cover and um, the first thing here is to literally just kind of knock out as much of the big stuff as you can get. Um, you can use, uh, you know, a flathead screwdriver, just kind of get the big chunks out of the way. I have to pry these batteries out first. And then once we get the batteries out, we're gonna clean off the terminals first with the uh, white vinegar and then with the IPA. So this battery put up a pretty good fight getting out, but uh, we've got it out. So these batteries are trash, but uh, now we've got access to our terminals. You can see how filthy they are. So I'm just going to knock out as much as we can get easily. We'll pick two, just get these big chunks out of the way. But uh, yeah, the problem with the corrosion is that uh, it prevents good voltage, so your batteries aren't gonna work. So um, now what you do is we're gonna take our white vinegar and we're going to dab it. Onto these guys. So we're just gonna clean these up just like this. All right, this is how things are looking after the white vinegar, and now I've got some isopropyl alcohol on my cotton swab here, so we're just going over this thing to help uh, clean up these terminals uh, for one last time. It helps get the residue off from the vinegar. Most of this corrosion's off, and uh, now we've got a functioning remote, so we don't need to go waste more plastic and uh, buy more stuff. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and be well.